Hey, welcome to the Cheap Air Gunner channel. It's Cherokee Steve. This particular weekend has been pretty decent weather-wise, so uh, temperature has been nice. It has been, for the most part, very sunny. Uh, the wind has been uh, the biggest factor. It's been extremely windy here where I'm at, so uh, I'm down in the basement and I'm just going to be doing some shooting with a couple of those pellets that uh, back in the day sent me. Uh, I figured I'd try these RWS Hobby Wad Cutters. These are very light, 11.9 grain. And the other one I thought I'd try out are these copper uh, Crossman pellets. Nothing on the front. There is marking on the back of the tin here. It says they're 14.4 grain. So I'm gonna try to get some velocities with the 2289 and uh, use 40 pumps and then go down on pumps, probably around 20 and uh, get some accuracy. So let's check out what these pellets can do. Okay, stay tuned. So I got the 2289 pumped up with 40 pumps. I'm gonna do a three shot group. As I've already said, I'm gonna do one shot with 40 pumps. I'll do a couple more with 20, maybe 25 pumps and uh, see what it will do velocity wise and accuracy wise. I'm gonna start out with the, R the RWS uh, Hobby wad cutters. Forty pumps with the eleven point nine grain RWS Hobbies got me seven seventy eight velocity seven seventy eight. So very light pellet got me a very high velocity with forty pumps. I did go to twenty five pumps for the next two shots. Although uh, I'm going to show a picture of the velocity for the second shot. That was 726. So still pumping out pretty good velocity, but it is a very light pellet. Um, the third shot, I got a velocity of 725. I don't have a picture because my chronograph quickly went from the 725 reading to an error reading, but it was 725. So some pretty good consistency between the pellets. Now let's take a look at the accuracy with those wad cutters. So these were the three shots here on this target. This one here, as you can see, the wide cutters leave one of the nice things about them. It leaves a nice, really round hole. Great for target shooting, especially if you're counting points. But this one uh, was a previous shot that I had taken with a, a different pellet but with only one shot on this target, I figured I'd go ahead and continue using it. And the three I got were this one, this one. The last shot was this worst one high up and uh, to, to the right. But uh, one of the things that I've noticed, it's not an excuse, it's just that <laughs> when I'm shooting a pumper and you know the more shots I put down range, the more pumping I've done, the heavier I'm breathing. That's one of the things I've really noticed. Uh, my breathing is really hard to uh, get under control for me, uh, the more pumping that I've done. So uh, that was the worst shot, that last one. The other two, very close to center, probably about three quarters of an inch probably more like an inch and a quarter from uh, the, including that third shot, center to center here. Center to center here is more like three quarters of an inch. So very good accuracy. 
and I will get some power numbers just for the heck of it off of that high velocity and using the weight of the pellet. But I'm going to go and repeat the process over here on this target with those Crossman uh, copper plated pellets. Crossman copper pellet, uh, very uniform in shape. Um, no burrs, very nice looking pellet. Let's see what it does with 40 pumps. So I will throw this up there. I did get a reading off of 40 pumps with the Crossman copper pellets of 710 feet per second. Uh, once again, on the back of the tin, it does list those as 14.4 grain. I'll get a power number for that. Unfortunately, the two other shots I took with 25 pumps, I did not get uh, velocity readings on. One of the things I've noticed with these uh, Harbor Freight lights that work very well, had been working very well with my chronograph and not giving me error readings, they're noticeably not as bright as they were. They run off of three AAA batteries, and I've got a feeling they really eat up the batteries. And the fact that the light is somewhat diminished from what I noticed from just a couple of days ago and how bright they were, they're certainly not as bright and uh, probably going to have to invest some money into uh, some AAA batteries whatever company I buy EverReady or, or Duracell or whatever I should buy stock in uh, or keep my eye open for another alternative to these because as I said they really seem to dim quite a bit in the light output uh, very quickly and eat up the batteries but regardless uh, accuracy wise wow That's this target here with the Crossman coppers. Two shots in this hole. One slightly higher up and one slightly down, but pretty much pellet on pellet as far as putting two right there and then one right here. So that's uh, gotta be a half an inch, maybe a little bit under. So accuracy wise, really impressed with those Crossman copper ones. I did notice, I did want to mention, when I'm loading the copper Crossman ones, uh, <laughs> they uh, feed up until the very last travel of the bolt. I really have to give it a really firm push. It was consistent for all three pellets, uh, possibly they're just a little bit larger in diameter um, than the RWS ones, which loaded very easily. The copper ones offered a considerable resistance right before it got fully loaded. I did have to put some, some decent pressure on the bolt to get it to close and fully seat the pellet. So it didn't seem to affect the accuracy, obviously, whatsoever. I'm really impressed with those as far as the accuracy goes. I'm gonna come back with some power numbers and uh, we'll wrap up this video. So first of all, I wanna give another big shout out, big thank you to back in the day who sent me four different pellets to try out, including these two that I am trying today. The RWS Hobby Wad Cutters, the Crossman Copper pellets at 14.4 grain. Uh, as you can see, uh, they're very, I'm just super impressed that at least what I saw out of my three shot group from the Crossman Copper, really, really impressed. Um, th those RWS, I, I personally don't have any wide cutter pellets, probably should, as I have taken part in some shooting competitions, online shooting competitions really make a nice clean hole through the paper. If you're punching paper, wad cutters are the way to go. Uh, they won't tear 
they literally punch a hole very clear um, very precise as far as target shooting and especially if you're keeping a, a score of some sort and counting up points as you're target shooting the wide cutters are really nice uh, pellets for giving you a nice picture of what you're shooting now besides not having any experience uh, shooting wide cutters. I don't have any experience shooting any copper pellets or copper plated pellets. And I'm wondering if any of you out there have uh, experience, especially what I'm wondering with the copper, copper pellets, um, what do you see out of your air guns with the copper pellets? Does it, does it seem to like it accuracy wise, velocity wise? I'm just wondering because uh, one of the things, you know, with with a fair amount of shooting and repeated shooting uh, with a, a lead and especially the softer lead pellets, um, which I believe is what a good a uh, example of something like that would be those Excite pellets, super big expansion, but a very soft pellet, I'm, soft lead pellet, I'm assuming over the course of time and, and repeated shooting with those types of pellets that it would lead to more of a buildup inside the barrel and uh, you know emphasizing the importance of cleaning the barrel with a softer lead pellet. I'm wondering what those copper pellets if that would really cut down on any type of buildup in the barrel um, or if it would just be a different type of buildup and Still, your barrel would need to be cleaned just as often as shooting uh, a, a soft lead pellet. But let me know what you guys have come across. If you have a lot of experience shooting these copper pellets, um, uh, really interested in in looking at those as an as a real viable option. Um, one of the things I would like to get to is, is testing for expansion as well, which I'm not gonna to get to today, but that could be a future video. Um, so with that, let's get to a wrap up, including power numbers. With that said, the power numbers, kind of surprised here. Again, at only 11.9 grain, but shooting at a velocity almost hit 780 feet per second with 40 pumps, 778. Uh, that gives me exactly 16 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. Those are the RWS watt cutters. Now, at a velocity of 710 feet per second, again, that's 40 pumps with the Crossman copper pellets. That gives me 16.12 foot-pounds of energy. So what I'm kind of summarizing here with my 2289 backpacker, regardless of what I shoot out of it, uh, weight-wise, 40 pumps pretty much consistently, no matter what I'm shooting with it, gives me 16 foot-pounds of energy. Again, I'm super impressed with that. Uh, out of a pumper with a, not the shortest barrel, you certainly can go longer than a 14 and a half inch barrel, which is what's on the 2289. You've got, a, a, at least as the Crossman barrel options go, you've got a couple of longer options in the 18 inch and 24 inch barrels. So, uh, for it to spit out that type of velocity and that type of energy, uh, again, it just it doesn't seem to matter what I shoot out of it, uh, pellet and weight-wise. Uh, it consistently gets me right in that 16 foot-pounds of energy ballpark, if not slightly over. So, really good power numbers with both of the pellets. So. That will do it for today. Um, I still have a couple of more uh, other types of pellets that were sent to me by back in the day. Thank you once again. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. 
And until the next one, you guys stay safe. Shoot safe.